In this video, we are going to make an application where we can compare different time periods and RCPs. We are still working with the agroclimatic indicators. In this video, I will introduce the inbuilt city widget of the toolbox and we will explore the possibilities with drop down menus. Let's start looking at the code. In this application, I use dictionaries for the variable RCP, time period, and temporal aggregation. Now, after defining the main application, we input the city widget. This is an easy to use widget with information about the main cities around the world. You can select the city by typing the first few letters of the city, for example, Paris, and select it in the drop down menu. This database also contains the coordinates of the cities, which are also accessed in the application. Then we have four drop down menus for the temporal aggregation, the variables, the RCPs, and the time period. Until now, we've mostly used the name, the label, and the values options of the drop down menu, and sometimes the default option. If you don't use the default option, your drop down menu automatically selects the first in your list of values as the default option. Two other items that you can add to the drop down menu are the description and the help description. A description will appear below the label of the drop down menu, and the help description will appear when you hover over the drop down menu. In the current setup, the application will crash if you select growing season length in combination with the temporal aggregation of 10 days. This happens because the growing season length is not aggregated over 10 days but over a year. So the combination of growing season length and 10 days does not exist. You can see the combination. You can see the combinations when you you can see the combinations when you go to the download data page and for example click annual 10 days or season. We can solve this issue by introducing link drop down menus. For this, we need to add separate dictionaries for the different time aggregations. The first dictionary contains variables that are aggregated over 10 years, the second dictionary over a year, and the third dictionary over seasons. In the drop-down menus, we need to first link the temporal aggregation drop-down menu. Then we need to replace the variable drop-down menu. We add three parts of the drop-down menu, where the first one is linked to the 10-day aggregation with the variables from the first dictionary. The second one is annual and linked to the second dictionary. And the third one is seasonal and linked to the third dictionary. Because they all have the same name, they will appear in the same drop-down menu. As you can see, we can now only select the variables that have a 10-day aggregation in the variable drop-down. 